I have a really weird twitch in my eye right now. I think from the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Roads that are in the middle of nowhere, places with no gas stations that you have to pee on the side of the road. Five adjectives to describe this trip. Unique, remarkable, beautiful, educational, spiritual. Hey everybody, we're here in Don Malisi's about to get a po' boy sandwich. Tell us a little bit about Don Malisi's. Don Malisi's has been here forever and so it's very crowded. Uh, Peyton Manning loves Don Malisi's, that's why for those football fans. We have to wait in line, so right now we're waiting for our number. Number 22. We're number 22. And I plan on getting a large shrimp. Even though shrimp is a bottom feeder and a scavenger of the ocean, I'm going to get one. I'm also going to get some fries. I didn't tell Lowry that. <laughs> Hello, we are here at Jackson Square, which is next to St. Louis Cathedral in the French Quarter of New Orleans. The cathedral is also next to the Cabildo, which is where the Louisiana Purchase was signed. In the background, you can hear music. James is amazed by all the street music going on and the partying during the daytime. But people, that is normal. This is New Orleans. Uh, we are not partying. We are having clean, wholesome fun for all you kids watching. We had beignets earlier. I'm having my second dose of PJ's coffee, to which James uh, had a big look of judgment. But I'm having more coffee. And we've been walking around the quarter. And that's your history lesson. I think I'm in Jackson Square, and I don't know if you can even hear me talking, but this amazing band is playing over here. And this is probably about the fifth or sixth street band that we've seen just today. And yeah, Lowry made fun of me because I was amazed at all the street drinking, but street drinking in and of itself is not that big of a deal. It's the fact that it's 4 p.m. on a Tuesday. <laughs> That is what I find very interesting and unique. Anyway, I'm having a great time in New Orleans, or New Orleans. I, for some reason, can't figure out how to say the city's name the right way. I'll get it eventually. I'm gonna keep working on it. Anyway, having a great time here. That's all I got. Hey everybody, we're standing outside Wiley Records in Austin, Texas. About to go in and browse a little bit. What do you think, Lowry? We just walked along the river. It is a gorgeous day. We are in great moods and we could find some Bowie Records. Yes. All right, so let's go inside.
We are at Joshua Tree National Park in California. I'm sitting on a rock. Where we, what did we just do? We hiked up to the top of Rhine Mountain and I kicked some major ass and had to carry James up practically the whole way. But we made it. <laughs> Tell me about what have you seen so far up this hike? Let's see, trees, rocks, birds, other people, uh, spit, and the sky, and nature, and lots of different landscapes. There's different views from the hike. There is flat land that has green, and then there are places where there are rock formations, and then another direction has mountains. There's just so much to see, it's gorgeous. I've seen dirty city streets in New Orleans with pea smell. Uh, we've seen the cityscape of Austin and Dallas and Fort Worth. We've seen mountains, rivers, green rivers, shitty brown rivers, a Grand Canyon, clouds touching the canyon, uh, Joshua trees, rocks, barren plains, sand, coarse sand, fine white sand, lots of different things. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, I'm here at Joshua Tree National Park. Where were you this morning? This morning, where was I? I was at the Grand Canyon National Park. Did you know that you were hiking this path today? No. What's, no. what's been the scariest thing that happened today? Today was a really good lesson for me in learning to let go and trust someone else. Because I'm used to being in control all the time. I let you plan out the whole thing. You drove the whole way here, and I just sat in the passenger seat. Let you do your thing. And to my credit, I didn't really moan and groan too much or second guess you. Don't you agree? I agree. <laughs> when we were on the way here, we stopped on the side of the road. What did we do besides pee? We. <laughs> <laughs> We stopped in the Mojave Desert earlier, and we we built some messages out of rocks. There was this whole stretch along the Mojave Desert. I don't recall what the highway it was exactly. Was it Route 66, or was that later? I don't know. But there was this whole long stretch where other folks had left all kinds of messages out of the rocks that were on the side of the road. So Valerie was driving, and so we stopped and left some messages. And it was pretty awesome. It was beautiful out there. It was really quiet. I kind of like how it is here, although you can probably hear that airplane. But overall, it's really quiet and undisturbed by man, which is pretty sweet. You have been on an amazing journey to the West Coast, something you've wanted to do for a long time. What's your advice to others who are scared and terrified of doing that? Let go <laughs> and tell me the emotional answer. Of how do you how do you overcome the fear and, and take the step? What the emotional answer? Yes. For me ultimately it was an inner truth that I felt deep within my inner being. There was, there was a calm, there was a peace, there was a, there was a certainty about the decision. It was, while it was scary, and there's obviously a lot of uncertainty and unknowns, at the same time with that, there was coupled with that, this sense of this I don't want to say it was a voice but it was just an energy there was something that said this is what you have to do you really need to do that it'll be okay and then asking a lot of questions like what's the worst that can happen believe in yourself take a bet on yourself no no good <laughs> what just let go 
Tell me in a couple sentences. How the f*** does someone overcome the fear and do this? How did you do it? I... The way I did it was I made a decision. I said, I'm going to do it no matter what, and I'm going to have faith that it's going to work out. I would just like to say that this trip was really magical because um, this trip was really magical because of my traveling companion who's holding the camera. <laughs> but seriously, having someone to share this trip with was really what made it probably the most special thing for me. Even though it was like I could have seen all this amazing stuff by myself, but to share it with someone who's so special and to share all those moments. Definitely if you can do it, if you take a trip like this, have someone that 